yeah, it was a it was a great experience. You know, still a little bittersweet losing the finals, but it was a great run. You know, you it's pretty crazy going to the rink in the middle of June and playing playing meaningful hockey as opposed to you know just training and stuff. But uh, you know, just the little things. It just it is so hard to win all the way, and you know we were so close, but you know it's it's left that taste in my mouth that I I want to I want to get it done. So I think we've got a great group here, and really hope we uh, we can make a push and maybe get it done here. And now you've landed in a place that's won more Calder Cups than any team in the league. So if you're going to come to a place to win a Calder Cup, this is it. Does that make it attractive to you being here, the fact their history and their tradition? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everyone knows Hershey is. Uh, this place has has won a lot in the past. So. Uh, you know, you look around the room, and there's a lot of good players in this group. And coaching staff's great, and out, up to the management. So it's, it it definitely has that feel right away. Like this is a kind of go big or go home type of year. So it's that's awesome. You know, expectations are high, and that's the way it should be. So we're excited. Sam Brian Helmer was saying that you guys have had conversations in the past as well. I mean, did you kind of have Hershey in the back of your mind for your career, just location-wise, Capitals organization, knowing people? I mean, how did this fit into your personal career and say? You know, at some point, I'm probably going to get myself to Chocolate Town. Is that kind of how you viewed it? Or? Uh, it, I always wanted to, so I'm, I'm glad it, it finally got done. I'm from the D.C. area, I grew up a Caps fan. Parents were season ticket holders, so I definitely heard a lot about the Bears, and I've been to, went to a game or two growing up, you know, just on like a family trip or something. So uh, it's pretty cool to be wearing the, the chocolate and white now, so I'm, uh, I'm excited for a fun year. Did, uh, Snively, did you pick his brain a lot about this this? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. We uh, we skate together all summer. Uh, he was he was actually a freshman when I was a senior, and we were in high school together. So we had some fun back then, and we had a good team. We won a state championship together. So Snives and I are, are close buddies, and I'm happy for him, and he deserves all the su success he's gotten recently. You mentioned expectations. That, you know, it's obviously a long season, lots of ups and downs throughout. How do, how do you manage expectations, but yet still kind of? set the culture early and to, for success? Yeah, I think, uh, I think it'll start right from the coach, and, and then we have a great leadership group around here. So I think uh, managing you know, some of the young guys and realizing that you know, it's, it's a long season, it's a grind, and you know, sometimes games in October are just as important as games in April. So coming out, start, coming out hot to start is, is important. So we just have to focus, you know, maybe break games down to one game segment, three game segments, things like that, and just Try and focus on little things, and and then the big picture will kind of take care of itself. You only have one day, obviously, with the new head coach. It's a small sample size, but what are your first impressions of Todd? Yeah, he's great. You know, it's it was also nice having him in in Washington's camp. So, I played against his team in in Grand Rapids when he won a Calder Cup, and it was not a fun team to play against. I know that, and I remember that. So I think that, as a player, that's about. All you can remember when playing against the team, if if they run a good system and they're tough to play against, that stems from the coach. So I think that's something that always stuck with me. And he won a, a Calder Cup there with with Max. So I think uh, you know expectations are high, and, and we're loving it. Sam, was one thing that you that has stood out to you so far with Coach Nelson that you've been really either impressed or excited about? He just has a kind of calm coolness to him, but you know he's he's serious too. It's it's kind of a different demeanor. He's not going to, at least so far, seem like he's going to be in your face yelling at you, but you can kind of tell by his tone that he expects a lot from you, and especially us older guys that have you know, kind of been through it and been through training camps and camps here and, and everything, and they know that, that they expect a lot out of us, and, and we expect a lot of each other too. So I think uh, he's got a good uh, dynamic in the room, and I'm excited. Scoring was an issue for the team last year and a lot of personnel changes. Obvious why you were brought in, right? Put the puck in the net. I mean, that part of it, you know, how long does it take for you to gel? Do you talk and give feedback about line mates, that, that type of stuff as you start to do what you what you do best? Yeah, I think once uh, we kind of have our group here, I will be able to get a better feel for, you know, who you might be playing with or this and that, the power play. I think uh, a lot of it is, yeah, just chemistry. Sometimes it's, it's guys you think you might be good with, you might not, and it just works out. And so I'm, I'm hoping to, to help. That department this year, whether it's power play or just five on five scoring, I'm uh, I enjoy that part of the game. But the most important part is winning. So anything to to make the team better, and I'm just excited to be here.